Next, we're going to talk about how to highlight a specific column in a stacked column chart. While changing colors in a normal chart, such as these with bar graphs, is possible in Power BI, for stacked columns, the only function that you have is to change a specific item color in the legend. So for this chart, which is sales by country and by product, normally you would only be able to change these specific colors and not change it for each bar. What you're going to have to do to get around this issue is to have a separate item label for the column that you want to highlight. So let's get into this step by step. I'm going to open up a new blank canvas to go through it. So again, let's open up a stack column chart just to get us started. Here I'm going to put, set it up so we have an axis of countries and we have sales and the values and products and the legend. Here we go. So we're going to add in labels for Canada products to keep them separate. So I'm going to go to my table tab, go to my data. And now I'm going to add a new column and have a DAX function. Okay, and I'm going to rename this as product highlight. And this is going to be a conditional statement. So I'm going to say if the country is Canada, then I'm going to keep the product name as is. And I would suggest that you also do the one that you want to highlight is the original name. And the ones that you don't want to highlight will be your others. So for the others, you're going to say XX concat with the product name. And again, if you're not using product names, it'll be whatever legend item that you're trying to highlight. The reason we're gonna add XX is because we want all of these names to come after the highlighted items. So I'm just gonna click enter and that should do the trick. All right. And just ensure that your data type is correct as text and let's go back to your data set. Okay, and now instead of using legend product, I'm going to take product highlight. Here we go. So now we have different colors for Canada and the rest. As you can see, it's not the most beautiful coloring. I would suggest that if they are related to use a different shade of color that is matching. So for example, I'm going to click into here, data colors. And since the first uh, product colors are using the theme colors, all I have to do is choose a different shade of this theme color. If you want to go lighter, you can go lighter. If you want to go darker, you can go darker. I'm going to go darker. I'm going to choose this row for all of them. So let me just do that. Okay, so now I like the way it looks with the colors. You can obviously tell that these are the same products, but this is a little bit lighter. Next, you'll notice that the Product names is showing on the legend for all the XXs as well. There's a couple different ways you can go get past this issue. One is quite simply to reduce the size so that that part gets covered up. However, that's not always a possibility since your chart size is sometimes restricted to a certain size. In that case, you might have to go and do an insert shape. And as you might guess, yes, we're going to use a shape where the background color or the fill color sorry is the same as the background color and we're going to cover that up and of course make sure the outline is not there now this is a little bit unfortunate since that does mean that every time you change the size of the chart you're going to have to change this as well one more thing to note as you noticed this can be quite a bit more customized if you needed to by customizing your equation in the DAX so you can highlight different parts. And also, since these items are different colors of these, if there's a specific item that you really want to highlight, let's say Amarilla in Canada, then you're able to do so as well. All you have to do is go to colors and maybe I just want to do a bright red for this one, which will make it very prominent as you can see. And that's all you need to know about highlighting a specific column in a stacked column chart.